to see you. Yeah, welcome to the Somali Museum. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can you briefly introduce yourself? My name is Abdurrahman Hassan, um, and I, I work for the Somali Museum as a gallery guy. I am 25 now. Are you a student? Uh, I am. Why did you uh, choose to study what you're studying right now? Uh, so, my, I majored in biology for my undergraduate and I chose the master's nursing program because nurses are needed and I'm interested in uh, becoming a, possibly a physician in the future. When did you start working for the Somali Museum? I started working for the Somali Museum in 2015. Do you think working at the museum changed you in any way? Uh, yes, of course. And I, I would like to think that it made me wiser because I understand now that you know there are multiple narratives and uh, the way my family thinks of Somali culture isn't the way that everybody thinks of Somali culture. I mean, it's very diverse. There's farmers, people that were nomadic pastoral, people that were sailors, people that were fishermen, and people that were shepherds, right? So uh, I'm always learning more nuances and more aspects of the culture. Um, I heard that uh, you moved to the United States when you were young. I moved to the United States. Uh, I moved to the United States in 2004, and I've been in. Uh, I've been here since then. Before then, I lived in Mombasa, Kenya. It was a. Uh, it's a coastal city right next to the Indian Ocean. Uh, my parents, uh, my family, moved here for better opportunities. Uh, yeah. What kind of better opportunities? So obviously, education, safety, uh, and for me, it was also health issues. I was born with a disability, and. Uh, one of the uh, specialists for a particular condition uh, that impacts me uh, lives here in Minneapolis. Um, and so therefore that's why I came to Minneapolis of all places. Yeah. Do you remember anything about uh, Kenya? Yeah, many things, you know. I remember going to school there. Uh, the schools were different there. Uh, in America, I remember when I first came, people had something called brunch during school time where they would watch movies and they would eat snacks. But in Kenya, I would wake up super early in the morning and I would sweep the classroom, right, and clean the board for my teacher. So it was a totally different thing. I remember those things. I also remember going to the beach to swim and, um, and also play soccer with friends. Have you been back to Kenya? I went back in 2015, actually. Um, and that was 11 years after not going back, so everything was a bit different. Do you want to go back again? Of course. My siblings are there, my dad is there, so of course I would want to go back and visit, but Minnesota is a home. It's a cold home, but I <laughs> learned to wear a jacket, so yeah. it's fine. Uh, that looks like a really cool house. Yeah. Can, we, uh, can we go in? Yeah, so it's a traditional Somali house. Uh, and it's a portable house. You can take it apart and place it on the back of the camel like in that in painting. Right? We can come on in, but you're going to have to bend down a bit. So, um, the house, uh, usually this area is covered with uh, the skin of an animal. So, uh, this is a traditional Somali house. Uh, and the people that would live in here would be the younger kids and their mother, uh, but the dad and some of the older boys would sleep outside so that they can protect the family if there's a, a wild animal or something like that. Oh, um, can we go outside? Yeah, of course, let's go. What are some of the community issues that you care about the most? You know, informing people about uh, health issues, right? That's sort of like the intersection of like uh, my community and health, which is what I study. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that Minneapolis and St. Paul residents can do to be more supportive and involved uh, with the Somali immigrants? Sure, of course. Um, well, you can go and support your local um, Somali business organization. Uh, and by supporting them, I mean like, yes, with money, but also more importantly by just having discussion and like or going there and interacting with people that work there. You could support the museum, you know, you could just get involved in the community by befriending people and by volunteering, um, so you could be involved in something like that. Thank you so much for your time and i today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye. Take care. We'll visit soon, okay? Alright, thank you. Take care.